amateur professionals. I'm just gonna say, maybe not underrated, but one of my favorite musicians is uh, Corey Brennan. Uh, he goes on the revival tour and stuff. I think some of the Sarah dudes, but I, he's probably one of my all-time favorite solo acoustic musicians that a lot of people probably don't have a shit in shit. You know, the first thing that comes to, my, comes to mind is maybe the first uh, One Man Army record. Favorite city on tour? There's been some really good ones, but so far Denver has been amazing. They just have a really great scene in Denver, and we played with some really good bands. All on Helter is like one of our favorite bands, and it was just awesome. And fuck, it was so hot, and just muggy. And there's forest fire. We had to like drive through. Four, we're like everything was on fire around us on the way, and we actually really feel we played in Fort Collins the night before, and like I guess a bunch of theirs really getting bad, and they can't really put out the fire. So we wish them a lot of luck. And yeah, that has been great. Richmond, Virginia was awesome. Uh, Philadelphia was great. Yeah, Ohio. Did you get a cheesesteak? No. Oh. Oh. We, we, we attempted to get a cheesesteak downtown, and it's, we were trying to drive a big ass van with a huge trailer. The streets and, aren't easy. Yeah. We tried going to Brooklyn like that and Philadelphia, and I don't know. We've been having to stop every like thousand miles and re bolt in our fenders. <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> driving through cities like that really isn't our thing. We just like to hang out, meet the people, meet the bands, hang out with them. Take off. We're in it for the friends, not the money. <laughs> yeah, I just, I bet I would change that answer depending on the day that you asked me. I think a lot of, uh, we've made such really great, like, kind of lifelong friends in so many cities that it's always good to run into, into them. So, like, Gainesville, as an example, is uh, pretty dear to us. I love uh, going up to Canada and Toronto and Montreal, both. Um, in San Francisco, again, with all the kind of the old lookout bands and, and the lookout label up there, it was always a good city for us. Um, Austin is also, I, I don't know that I could pick it down yeah. to one, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe Toronto. Toronto to me is like a, a really clean New York almost. Um, it's just, it's amazingly clean, you know, to walk through a city and not see any trash anywhere. Yeah. People are really polite, you know, like it's their New York just cleaner. Yeah. You know, it's like a really heavy arts and fashion and entertainment kind of city. Um, yeah, maybe Toronto. We've got a couple. Oklahoma City. Always hanging out with the Red City Radio Boys. Best of times. Um, I really love Gainesville, even outside of the fest, because some of my best friends uh, from an old band uh, that broke up, uh, Spanish Gamble. These guys are my brothers. Love hanging out with those guys. And then Chicago, obviously, where I'm from. So. Uh, my favorite drink is actually it's called Hawaiian Kick. Uh, me and Flip from Food Truck came up with it. It's a screwdriver, and then you had uh, pineapple juice and cranberry juice. Ooh, right now I'm really loving Dark and Stormies. I mean, you can't go wrong with the shitty Wisconsin beer. The Paps, Old Style. Old Style's my shit. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, any of those beers are just great. Um, but I'm gonna have to say whiskey. I like whiskey. I'm, I'm not a very talented human being. <laughs> All my talents are pushed into music. It's like growing hair. Yeah, I'm really good at I can grow a beard. <laughs> I've been trying to tell people that I was fully shaved a week and a half ago, but it's not true. So that's a good question. Um, I'm really good at rock and roll trivia. Nice. <laughs> um, I mean, that's really all I do. Um, but I, I, I like hard labor, like manual labor. I like that. That's what I'd probably do best outside of music. That's why I do that shit. Yeah. Nice. Breaking your, breaking your back, cracking grunt concrete. Work, yeah. on stage. Yeah, I move people's shit for a living. It sucks. <laughs> Definitely art. I went to art school, um, so painting and, and drawing. Um, we're actually working, at, I've been working on it for you know, probably 10 years now, but um, periodically. Working on it and write a comic book. Really? So I'm kind of okay. partnering with some people to like, you know, so we're kind of collectively trying to come up with some storylines and, and some concept drawings, so we're all kind of pitching in and doing a lot of illustration and 
uh, so far, it's coming, it's coming together pretty cool. I'll, I think we've got it figured out that we're going to do something with paper and plastic with that, since they're starting to do this kind of like comic um, part in the label. So we've actually got some, some conversations coming up in, in the near future about, about doing something with that. Um, so yeah, it's definitely art. I mean, I, I, I like, I need to be creative, you know, so uh, whether it's music or painting or just picking up a pencil and drawing or like a pen and drawing. So. Yeah, I think that would be it. I like reading. Um, we have a, fortunately, we have a TV in our van. Nice little flat screen that got installed. So we do a lot of Xbox 360. Uh, some FIFA, some soccer. And there you go. Nice. Some Peggle. Look out for Peggle. Yeah. It's a game. You don't even know about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, bullshit in the van and smoke a bunch of weed. <laughs> it's the best way to kill some hours. There you go. Get a game going and get goofy and just hang out. <laughs>